children of God, thank you very much. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Our topic today is this, how to get out of depression. Are you depressed? You can come out of it. The eyes of the Lord search the whole earth in order to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to Him. That's the Word of God, the Bible. Dear friend, are you feeling sad always? Are you feeling left alone and rejected? You are not alone. More than 100 million people in the world go through what you are going through in life. Most of us go through this situation at least once in our lives. We live in a high stress situation in our life. Our hearts get depressed because of financial debt or any of the life changing experiences such as loss of a job, divorce, relationship issues, sickness or even loss of a loved one. Many go through a period of stress during their, these situations, but most of them can come out of it and continue life beyond. If a person cannot come out of the situation, then continuous negative thoughts will start affecting the mental and physical ability to live a quality life. Well, life has its own difficulties. Nobody's life is without problem. Everybody has burdens of life and worry about the future. How to overcome it? We are not, I'm, I'm just telling you that we are children of God. Even though I'm a medical doctor, but I'm going to take this in the way of Christ, the way of Jesus Christ. But I have to offer a prayer for everyone who is willing to believe in God. At the end of this video, we are going to pray together. Let's go through some principles from the Bible before we pray together. How can we come out of depressing and negative thoughts? 1. Be connected with God. God created us. We lose our purpose when we move away from the Creator. Our life loses its meaning when God is not with us. To find the purpose of our life, we need to move back to the Creator. He alone can provide meaning and purpose to our life. You might think there is no solution right now for the problem you are going through, but God can open the ways for you. Spending time with God by reading His scripture and praying to Him is our lifeline for peace and happiness. It helps us to know what God wants us to do. Jesus said, Come to me, all you are, you are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. We are the child of Most High God. He wants us to fill our lives with peace. Jesus wants to heal all the broken pieces of our hearts. Are we ready to run to, to the arms of Jesus today? Jesus is the wait, he's, he's waiting for everyone like a father who waits for his children to return to him. You can read the word of God every day, at least one chapter. Live by faith and not by sight. Living our life by faith is easier said than done. When the situation is not positive and the odds are totally against us, how can we put our faith in the unseen God? My brothers and sisters, start with small things. The Bible says, test and see that the Lord is good. We need to start somewhere. As you learn to trust Him and test His goodness, you will never go away to another source. You can start your journey right now right at the place where you are do not look at your situation but look at the god who is bigger than the situation god can surely hold your hands and take you through the difficult situation you face right now do not get discouraged by looking at the storm but just look unto god 
Another thing I want to tell you is this. Be connected with people you love. Love is important here. Independent of the situation, we need to be connected with our friends and relatives. Do not shut them off because of the personal situation. It will be difficult to share. For example, the loss of a job with close friends. It might create identity issues. But let that not stop us from connecting with friends. We are social beings. We need to connect with people. And our relationship should stay healthy in order to survive in life. Jesus can heal your marriage relationship. Okay? Jesus can do all for you. Overcome the fear of the future. This, this, this one is the one that is disturbing so many people. They think about their future. What is going to happen? They forget Jesus Christ. Beloved, one of the main ways through which the enemy attacks our mind is by creating fear. The fear can enter our minds without reason. When we do not place the future in the most trusted hands of God, the enemy Satan will toil with our emotions to create fear about the future. God says, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. We have indirect control over our future when we trust and place the future in God's hands. The Bible says, If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you with, with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. God knows how to take care of the future. He knows how to protect us from harm. Do not worry. May God heal the heart. Did anybody hurt you in the past, either through words or actions? It's time to forgive them. Forgiving others is not a simple task anyway. Forgiveness is an attribute of God. Hence, God can help us forgive those who caused hurt in our past life. Some of you might have gone through deep disappointments or even losses. The person who had hurt you might have been your close friend or relative or even a family member. Forgiving your past will give you great freedom over the deep negative emotions. But forgiving the past is not always easy. Jesus taught us this prayer as a simple prayer. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. It is difficult, but God will help us. Beloved, you can overcome depression. Everyone goes through it and is part of human emotion. Even great men like Elijah went through depression in the Bible. God wants to help you today. Surrender your life to him. He will make it fresh. Place your hand on your heart and believe Jesus can heal you. Okay? We are going to pray together. Jesus is going to heal you. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, you know the nagging thoughts that make, me, make us feel sad. Please help us to come out of it. I want to live a life of freedom. Please forgive all the mistakes that your children have done. Wash us with your precious blood. Thanks for dying on the cross for our sake. Thank you for loving us. Cative my thoughts. Take away all the negative thoughts from my mind. I want to be your child. I don't want to get stuck in depression, O oh Lord. Help me forgive others. I cannot do it myself. I need your help. In Jesus mighty name please fill my life with peace and joy i want to relax in your presence by filling my heart with your wonderful promises help me come out of depression heal my heart please lead me hold my hand and walk with me forgive my past mistakes 
wash my heart and make me new. I do not want to do the same mistakes I have done before. Be my God and take me through these hard times. Guide me. Thank you for healing me right now. I believe I'm healed by your precious name. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. I will be always pray for you at all times. May you be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.